everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today we are, I have a really fun meal starter canning project for you. This is going to be great for summer. We are canning up some Huli Huli chicken. If you've seen this before or had it before, a lot of restaurants have it on their menu. It is delicious. We are going to can some up to have on our shelf. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, here I've got chicken broth. To my chicken broth, I'm going to add pineapple juice and soy sauce. I'm also adding sriracha. About two tablespoons of sriracha. If you don't like sriracha, don't add it. I'm also gonna add ginger. Now I'm you can use fresh ginger. I'm just using the squeezy ginger. Two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna put six garlic cloves in here, minced. Six garlic cloves going in. You can also saute them so they don't turn the weird green color that can happen if you don't, if you put your garlic directly into broth without sauteing. Quarter cup of bottled lime juice. You can use fresh lime juice. This is for flavor. But that's about all I had in my bottle. I just wanted to use it up. One large white onion. I'm just going to throw it right in. And then, you guessed it, I've got this pineapple. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this. And then I'm gonna put about two cups of pineapple into the pot. I added one teaspoon of kosher salt to this. I am now going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. You don't want it too sweet when, it's, when you're canning it because sugar can can take on a scorched taste if you have too much of it but the taste of this broth it is so good normally when you make huli huli chicken you have all of this stuff in the marinade but we are actually canning it here's the pineapple this took one whole pineapple cut off i'm going to put the whole thing in and then we're going to get started on the chicken I am going to cut up chicken thighs. I have bought some deboned already, the chicken skin already removed from the thighs. I'm going to chunk them up big. You wanna do this with thighs because you want them to stay moist. You can do it with chicken breast if you prefer, but heating them up in the pan will actually dry them out slightly, so just an FYI. Here are all, here's all my chicken thigh meat cut up. I have cut it into inch and a half pieces. And I'm gonna put it all in here. And if you're wondering why I'm doing it this way, it is simply because my chicken is still semi-frozen. So I'm gonna put it in here. It's gonna bring the temperature down. I'm gonna bring it back up to boiling. Then I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna let this simmer for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna hot pack my jars. And that is how I'm doing it. If you want to make your broth completely cold and raw pack your chicken and put your cold broth on top, that is perfectly fine. That is how I normally would do it. Or you can just pour your hot broth on top of your cold chicken because it starts to heat it up in the jar. But mine is partially frozen. Partially frozen chicken is easier to cut. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands, stir this in, and set up for canning. I am set up for canning. This has been simmering for 10 minutes. I'm gonna use a slotted spoon, fill the jars, and then I'm gonna go through and use the broth. I'm gonna attempt to set you up so you can see. This smells so good, oh my goodness. 
This is going to be a fantastic summer meal. I'm going to fill halfway first and then I'll go through and add more, whatever is left in here. So this is picking up all my chicken, onions, and pineapple. You know what would be really good in here too is red bell pepper. I didn't think about adding that, but I'm gonna write that in the recipe as an option for you. Because I think it would be really good in here. I have not ever put red bell pepper in it. The original recipe does not contain it, but I think it would be an excellent addition if you like red bell pepper that is Getting down to the bottom of the chicken here. I don't know that I have enough for all these jars. I will put all the amounts in my recipe, and of course I will put the recipe card in the description box for you as always. Going to ladle the broth over the top, leaving an inch of headspace. You can do these in pints as well, or half pints if you want to make single servings if you um, live alone. Debubble.
Okay, now I only ended up getting five out of that. I was a little bit short. Which I thought would happen because I didn't have enough chicken. That was the only pack of thigh meat I had. So this one, I'm just gonna stick into the fridge and we are gonna eat it for lunch. Probably tomorrow. So I'm gonna go through and clean my rims. I'm just using water. That one I'm not canning. Fingertip ties. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys into the hot tub. Okay, she is all buckled down. And of course, we're gonna wait until the steam starts coming out of there like a freight train out of the pet cock. Then we are going to time that process for 10 minutes so that all the air can evacuate and we can create pressure. Then, once we come up to pressure, we're gonna go ahead and time this for 70, oh no, sorry, we're gonna process these guys for 90 minutes. If you're gonna do pints or half pints, those will process for 75 minutes. Okay, these guys are done. I am going to go ahead and pull them out. Give it a little tap tap before I put it down, not a real tap, just to get the liquid off. Everybody is sealed. They look and smell delicious. Okay, that's all there is to canning up the Huli Huli chicken. We have basically taken the marinade and turned it into a nummy broth. When we reheat this, I will bring you along when I crack open the first jar, but I always get a ton of questions about how, I, how am I gonna serve these things. And I try to always tell you in the video how to heat it up. So what you're gonna do is pour the liquid off into a pan, make a cornstarch slurry, put the chicken in the pan, heat everything up together. You're gonna serve it over some rice, however you wanna do it, and then sprinkle over some fresh green onion and some fresh chopped macadamia nuts. It will be delicious. And that is how you serve the Huli Huli chicken. But I do try to let you know in every video how to serve things, but I inevitably still get the question in the comments, how, how am I gonna serve it? So there you go. I will still bring you along when I crack open the first jar. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed and you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes, including this one. I will put the recipe card in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. There you go.